Hello friends this is Laravel tutorial series for beginners and in this part we have start learning CRUD operation in Laravel framework. So, in CRUD operation we will first discuss create or insert data into MySQL table in Laravel framework. In previous part we have already discussed how to install Laravel framework by using Composer and then after we have discussed how to make database connection and after this how to create MySQL table in Laravel application. So in previous part we have already make database connection with Laravel testing database and in that we have already create simple student table. So we will insert data into this table. Now we have start discussing how to insert data into MySQL table in Laravel application. So first we want to make one view file for insert form data in the MySQL database. So here we can see Laravel directory structure. So we have go to resources folder and in that folder we have go to views folder and here we have already create one master.blade.php file. Here Blade is simple but very powerful templating engine which provided in Laravel framework. So in all Laravel view files use .blade extension and it has been stored in resource slash views folder directory. So this is our master template or it is skeleton of our template in which we have used bootstrap library for style sheet purpose. Because template inheritance is benefit of Blade templating. Here we have write at the rate yield with open and close brackets and between bracket we have write content, by using this directive we can display contents under this part. Now here under views folder we have already created one student folder and under this folder we have already create one create.blade.php file. So we have opened this file and now we want to extend master.blade.php file template under this file. So we have simply write at the rate extends with open and close brackets and between this we have write file named master. Here create.blade.php is a child page and here we have extend master.blade.php page by using this at the rate extends directives. So this way we can extend templates in Laravel. After this we have write at the rate section directive with open and close brackets and between bracket we have write content. Here this directive defines section of content while this at the rate yield directive will display content on a give section. Now first we want to close this section directive so we have write at the rate end section directive. It will close this directive. Between this we have write some HTML code. Now we have start create form for insert student data. So here we write form tag with attribute method is equal to post and action is equal to to open and close bracket. And between this we have write URL with controller name student. So here we have send form request to this student controller. Under this form first we have write input type is equal to text with attribute name is equal to first name and placeholder is equal to enter first name. Under this text box user can enter student first name. Below we have write input type is equal to text with attribute name is equal to last name and placeholder is equal to enter last name, under this text box user can enter student last name. Lastly we want to define form submit button, so we have write input type is equal to submit, by clicking on this button we can send form data to student controller which we will create. Now we want to create student controller for handle form request, so we have go to command prompt and here we have write php artisan make double colon controller with name student controller space dash dash and press enter. 
This command will create one controller file with name studentcontroller.php. For C controller file we have go to app folder and within this folder we have go to http folder and here we can find studentcontroller.php file which we have created. And under this controller we can see all crud function like index for display data, create function for create new data, store method for insert data into table, show method for display inserted on web page. Edit method for display inserted under form. Update method for update existing data and lastly destroy method for delete data from table. So in this controller we can see all method for CRUD operation. Now we want to register this student controller with all method root under Laravel application. So we have go to roots folder and under this we have open web.php file. Under this file we have write root class with resource method with two argument, in first argument we have write student which is folder name which we have create under views folder and second is student controller. This is single root declaration which creates multiple root to handle a variety of restful action on the student resource which we can see on web page. Now in next step we have go to studentcontroller.php file and we have add some code. So here we have write return statement with view method and under this we have write student folder name dot create. This code will load will load create.blade.php view file from student folder which we have created under this tutorial. Suppose we want to check output of this code, so we have go to command prompt and here we have write command like php artisan serve and press enter. Here we can see URL, so we have copy this URL and go to browser. Here in browser we have paste this URL and type student slash create method, so here we can see this output of add student data form on web page. Now we also need to handle mass argument exception, so we have go to app folder and under this folder we have go to student.php model file which we have already created in previous part. Under this student model file we have create dollar fill able protected variable is equal to array with form field name alike first name and last name. After this we have go to student controller.php file and here we need to include namespace of student model. So here we have write use statement with app folder name forward slash student model name, this way we have include namespace of student model under this student controller. Now we have proceed for insert student data, so for insert data we have to write code under store method of student controller file. So under this method we have first write validation rules, so here we have write dollar this with validate method with two argument. In first argument we have write dollar request variable and in second argument we have define validation rule like first name text box value is required, last name text box value required. So when form submitted for insert student data, then this method will call and under this first it will validate both form field has some value then it will proceed for insert data otherwise it will redirect to create method which will load student form with validation error. Now we have proceed for insert data, so here we have write dollar student variable is equal to new student model object and under this object we have define form data. Like first name table column value get from this dollar request with get method with text box name first name, 
Here this get method will get value of first name text box. Same way last name table column value get from dollar request with get method and under this we have write text box name last name. After storing form data under this dollar student variable, now we want to insert into student table, so we have simply write dollar student with save method. This method will automatically make insert query and execute it and it will insert data into student table. So this way we can insert data into MySQL table. Now we want to redirect to create form. So here we have write return statement with back method with method with two argument like success and student day to inserted message. This code will redirect to create student form again with success or validation message. Now we want to display success or validation error message on create form, so we have go to create.blade.php page. And here first we want to display validation error, so we have write at the rate if directive with condition like count function with dollar error variable value greater than zero. For close this if block of code here we have write at the rate end if statement. This condition will check if dollar error array has some value then it will execute this if block of code. Suppose above condition true then it will execute this block of code and under this we have write at the rate for each directive with dollar errors with all method as dollar error. By using this directive we can fetch error from this dollar error variable and display on web page and for close this directive we have write this at the rate end for each. Under this block we have write list tag and between this tag we have write to bracket and between this bracket we have write dollar error variable, it will print all validation error on this page. After this we want to display success message on web page, so we have write at the rate if with condition like slash session class with as method with success. This condition will check is this session class has method return success then it will execute if block and it will display success message on web page. For display success message here we have write double bracket and between this we have write slash session class with get method with success return. It will display success message on web page, so our code is ready so we have saved this code and check output in browser. Here friends we have already started Laravel application and here we have already loaded create method. So first we have refresh page. After refresh of page we can see simple form for enter student information like first name and last name with submit button. So we have directly click on submit button, but after clicking on submit button we have received validation error like first name and last name is required. So now we have write John in first name and Smith in last name and click on submit button. After submitting form with data we have received success message like student date to inserted. So this way we can insert data into MySQL table. Now we have see into MySQL student table and here we can also see data has been inserted in table also. So in this part we have discussed how to insert data in MySQL table in Laravel application. For this we have first see Laravel blade templating and in that we have make master template and then after we have extend master template from child page. 
Same way we have also seen how create CRUD controller by using Composer and in that all CRUD method already created. We have also seen simple Laravel validation and after this we have insert data into table. And lastly we have seen how to display validation error or success message on web page by using blade templating. If you have any query regarding this video tutorial part, please comment your query in comment box and if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video. Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.